Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a woman expects houses to hand out stacks of cash to her kids on Halloween. Exam three notes. I'm sorry? When are you gonna send your notes for exam three? Hey, sorry, I don't really have notes for this unit. I learned most of this stuff already in my other bio classes. I get you already know it, but why does that mean we don't get notes? That doesn't seem very fair. Uh, because I didn't take any? I have the chart from lab filled out. That's about it. Isn't it your job to take notes, though? Nah, dude. I'm not the SI or anything. I was just sharing my notes in the GC to help people out. Can't share what's not there. Sorry for the miscommunication. Someone else is the SI. Okay, this isn't fair. I'm sorry? I just think it's not okay that you let us all think you were the SI and you let us all depend on you. I didn't take any notes this unit because I knew you'd send them. Dude, I never said I was the SI. It's in the syllabus it's a girl named Blank. Also, SI share notes in SI sessions, not WhatsApp group messages. I can send you the chart, but you're going to need to write your own notes for the lecture. I don't have any. Can't you please just send them to me? I'm a freshman. I don't have any notes to send you. Also, this is a 3000 level course with two tiers of prerequisites. How on earth are you taking this as a freshman? It's my second year. <laughs> it's my second year of college. Do we have different working definition of a freshman? Can you tell me what's on the exam? Check Canvas. Blank posted loads of prep material. Lol, I never check Canvas. It gives me anxiety. You may want to get over that one. All I do for notes is copy the slides and print them. Then add summaries of the in-class discussion and his old test questions. It takes me maybe two hours a chapter. Reading the book helps too. Just know the chapters get screwy between the 11th and 12th edition. He posted the chapters for the 12th in Canvas. Just plus one to any of the chapter numbers if you have the 11th. Okay, what chapters are on the exam? I don't know off the top of my head. Check Canvas. Can't you check Canvas and tell me? I'm already having an anxiety attack because I won't have any notes to study from. No, I think you should. Exposure therapy is highly effective. Not to sound like your mom, but you should be checking Canvas daily. How do you turn in the lab homework? Lol, I don't. Please, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna fail this class. I'm pre-med. You have no idea how hard this is. I'm pre-med too. I've been there. He drops the lowest of the exam, so just make sure you study for the next one. And don't wait till the next week before the exam. And honestly, if you start cramming now, you could probably still pull a good grade. A lot of this stuff is review from the last unit. No, I won't. I'm going to fail because of you and lose my scholarship, which means I lose my meal plan. So I'm going to starve because of you. The Welcome Center has free granola bars. Wow, you're such a jerk. Super unskinny. No one likes you. How are you going to get into med school? It's all connections that you don't have. Enjoy failing your MCAT. I was going to help you study and give you my notes, but no one likes a snake. I really don't need a freshman to help me study for the MCAT. I already took it. 316. So, you're a freshman who's in your second year of college, yet took the MCAT. Who said I was a freshman? I'm a senior in college. Already accepted into medical school. What the F did you smoke before picking up your phone? You literally said you were a freshman like 10 minutes ago. Oh, lol, autocorrect fail. I'd call it backtracking to cover a stupid lie, but cool, autocorrect works too. This has been hilarious, but I'm going to bed. Have a lovely evening, you wonderful human. Come on, dude, can you please just send your notes? Okay, just send me the chart. Hey, can you send me the chart? Is anyone else terrified by the idea that this guy could one day become your doctor? I remember when I used to go every now and then to the coffee bean. Every Christmas season, the barista would offer to give me a sticker and I always refused because I wasn't interested in their journals. Also, I didn't go often enough to collect enough stickers anyway. 
And for clarity, what OP means here is every time you buy a coffee, you get a stickers. And if you get enough stickers, you can redeem them for something like a free coffee, or in this case, a journal slash day planner with coffee bean branding. So one day, this woman behind me at the counter hears me say no, and as soon as I've paid and stepped aside to wait for my order, she asks the barista if she can have my sticker. Barista refuses. Woman insists. Barista says, sorry, but they're not allowed to do that. Now, the woman is getting annoyed, her voice is getting higher, and she hasn't even ordered yet. You can tell the barista is feeling the stress. The woman says, look, no one will know or care if you just give me the sticker. Why can't you just help me out? The barista again says it's against store policy. The woman says, why are you acting like this? Just let this one little thing slide. Finally, I bust in and tell the barista, hi, I've changed my mind, I want my sticker. The woman looks like she's been shot, but finally stops talking. I take my drink and my sticker and threw the sticker away as soon as I got outside. OP, you're a better person than me because I would have been seriously tempted to just rip up that sticker right in front of her. Hi, I saw a drawing of someone done by you on their page. Can you draw me too? No, sorry, I used to do free portraits for a follow, but I don't have any time for that anymore. Can't you make an exception? Please. Well, sure, it'll be 10 bucks though. But you did it for free for them. Yes, because I offered it to them. But you can't do it for free. It'll only take you a few hours. No, I'd rather use those few hours for the job that actually pays me. It's my birthday in a few days. It would be like a birthday gift. It would make me very happy. I don't know you. Am I obligated to give a gift to a person I don't know? God gave you the gift of drawing, and you should be using it for making others happy. But you're being greedy and asking money for it. Others would happily do it for free. You're talking to an atheist. You could just ask those other artists that would happily do it for free. Good luck living like a hoe asking for money. Yes, it's completely normal to ask for money for something like a portrait. When he said it's his birthday in a few days, you should have just been like, awesome, it's my birthday today. What are you going to get for me? Do you still have the piano available? Yes, I'm taking $20,000 for it. Is $5,000 okay? My daughter wants to learn piano and this would mean so much to her. This is a Steinway & Sons model K52 that's only 10 years old and in brand new condition. Retail price is over $35,000. You should buy a cheaper brand like Yamaha if your daughter is just starting to learn piano. This is my daughter's dream. Please. I'm a single mother. I can't afford it. I'm sorry, but I can't sell you such an expensive item for a quarter of the price. You can find $1 to $200 pianos or keyboards online if your child really wants to learn. I will report you to Craigslist. You're a selfish jerk. F you. <laughs> I'm gonna report you to Craigslist is one of the weakest threats I've ever heard. I don't think I can keep borrowing account access from people who do not have their life together. What? The person I'm borrowing Disney Plus from apparently wasn't able to pay their Verizon bill. Guess who couldn't log into Disney Plus? I know it's not the end of the world, but come on, it's like, come on. Okay, let's get this straight. This choosing beggar is too poor to pay for Disney Plus. So she's criticizing someone for being too poor to afford Disney Plus. So, my cousin's getting married tomorrow, and she and her cousins bought lahinkas and jewelry from me and my sister's shop. And these jerks had the audacity to ask for a family discount while me and my sister aren't even invited to the flipping wedding. The best response to this post is from Frenchy Frites. You should tell them you'll mail them a coupon to the same address they sent your wedding invite to. And on this next post, OP sells amphibians. Why are your axolotls so expensive? They aren't. I raised them from eggs myself. I've seen them for cheaper at X. Okay, then buy them at X. But I like yours. Then buy them at my price. Well, if you sell axolotls, you can expect a lotl choosing beggars. <laughs> OMG, I hate my mom. I wanted AirPods Pro. Rolling eyes emoji. 
<laughs> and I love this response from Already Taken. If I said that, my mom would give me an spanking pro. Is everyone wrapping things up already? Hardly any house is answering and none so far have given any gift cards out. Just a bunch of fun size candy. Things just aren't what they used to be. Wait, this person's expecting gift cards to be handed out on Halloween? Has this ever been the case? I've literally never gotten a gift card from anywhere when I was a kid on Halloween. Have any of you ever gotten a gift card on Halloween? Please let me know and let me know like what the store was and how much it was for because this is completely alien to me. Let me hear from you down in the comments. Married couple, can you draw our baby in the middle? That'll be extra. The husband, you'll charge for the baby also. Does your baby have a face? Yeah, but he's so small. He's small, but is he headless or is he an egg? Don't you have a ready-made baby? Oh yeah, I do have a baby from Lion King. I think OP is missing an opportunity to draw the married couple and between them draw a headless decapitated baby. You're so messed up, dude. Are you gonna send me money or what? Am I messed up, Blink? What's more messed up? The fact that you only hit me up when you need something? Or the last time you hit me up, you told me you needed diapers and wipes, but Blink told me you just needed drinking money. You need clothes for an interview? I'll mail you clothes that are here or I'll send you 50 bucks. Let me know which one you choose. I mean, what? You want me to hit you up to see how you're doing? Since when have I ever done that? We ain't 12. I like how the implication is, I'm not 12, I'm an adult. Because we all know responsible adults have to beg strangers for money. Someone plugged me their Disney Plus account. Still sad. I won't pay you, but you'll have a friend for life. Friend? Dude, I think you misspelled leech. My school's looking for a photographer for our Christmas party. But the thing is, you're going to pay us. You'll pay us to photograph people. Then you can use our party as a market or something. Am I making sense? LMAO, you're not making any sense at all. <laughs> this person is asking someone to be paid for them to work for free. My whole life, I thought slavery was the absolute lowest thing that someone could do, but there's actually something worse than slavery. <laughs> They're expecting someone pay them to work as a slave. So I work at a small, independently owned outerwear store. The owner of said store is a dog owner, and we actually have a store dog. Anyways, one generous thing that we do is always have a jar of dog biscuits to offer any dog owning customers as a little extra treat. It's always cute to offer the dog some biscuits and everyone is usually happy. Then there's Karen. She comes in frequently, doesn't buy anything, and always waits for us to offer her a dog biscuit. Once she gets the biscuit, she leaves the store. On busy days, she sits at the footwear section and waits until one of us is free enough to get her her dog biscuit. I think this is total BS, but we play along with her game for the time being. That is, until a particularly busy day. As usual, Karen was waiting at the footwear section, waiting for her dog biscuit. After 10 minutes of waiting, she starts tapping her foot, huffing and puffing while staring at any employee who walks by her. After another 10 minutes of this, we were really swamped that day. She barks out to my coworker. My dog is getting pretty hungry and I'm starting to get pissed. My coworker, who is normally a very calm guy, was not having any of it. He barked back. Yeah, well, I'm getting pretty pissed because we're busy. You always get free dog biscuits and you never buy a single thing here. So no more biscuits for you. Visibly shocked, Karen storms out of the store and so far hasn't returned. Serves her right. Yeah, no more biscuits. I think they got the right idea, dog. Hey, I'm Blink's co-worker. I'm looking for someone to cut my hair and I was wondering how much is it for just a basic cut and trim? I have long hair. Hi, thank you for reaching out. I appreciate it. What's your name? Blink, I need a trim. How much? My haircuts are 50 bucks. That includes blow dry and style and I also do a hydrating conditioner as part of your haircut. How much if I don't need all that? It's just a small trim. 
I understand. The price of a haircut is $50. I don't let clients leave with wet hair. I prefer to blow dry and check the haircut, make sure it's laying properly, and modify if needed. Texture, thickness, hair lays differently when it's wet. I like to guarantee my work. I can't do that if I don't know what it looks like dry. Besides, it's a bit chilly out. So, like, even just a trim is 50. I only need two inches. I like the way you cut Blank's hair, and I want it identical to hers, but longer. How long is your hair? Like, middle of my back. Okay, are you aware that Blank's hair is shoulder length? Yeah, that's why I said longer. Okay, so not identical to Blank's. Got it. There's no difference in price. I can cut two inches or ten. That doesn't determine the price of the cut. I can't afford 50 right now. I'm a single mom. Can you make an exception for me? I can pay you half and leave with wet hair. I don't need the treatment. It's just a trim. I shouldn't be much. I feel like you're overcharging too much. I'm sorry to hear that. Perhaps a different stylist is a better fit for you. There are many other options within the price range you need. I went to Sam's and they mess up my hair. I like Blank's hair. I can't believe you won't help out a single mom. You can change the price for me, but you don't want to. The client is always right and you don't understand that. Excuse me? So you treat all your clients like this? That's unprofessional. You're not my client. My clients respect me and my work and would never ask anything like this. Sounds like you need therapy as well. Price just shot up to a hundred bucks. Have a nice day. I'm going to report you to your salon. I just wanted a trim and you won't work with a single mom. I have four kids to take care of. You could help me out. Not sure what the amount of children you have has anything to do with hair or why that should matter to me. You're a jerk. You lost good business today. Crying while laughing emoji. We'll see if you're laughing after I report you. More crying while laughing emojis. Talking to your manager right now. Good luck, self-employed. Lose my number. Then we have a response from always an adventure down in the comments. My friend is a hairdresser and she tells me stories like this all the time. She's like, I spent thousands of dollars to go to school, learn the trade, but you want me to give you a free cut just this one time? She told me a story about how she felt bad for this one lady, gave her a real sob story, and she decided she would give her a free package. Cut, color, blow, dry, style, about $150 worth of work because she wanted to help her out. She told me the choosing beggar would call her a few times and ask for another free session. She finally said that she can't do it again and that she did it as a one-timer. The lady booked an appointment anyway. My friend thought it was done and over with. Lady comes in, acts all nice and friendly, and when it's time to pay, is shocked when she's charged 150 bucks. My friend said after that, she knew the client had a secret mission. She told me she made a huge scene, demands to talk to her manager. Long story short, she ended up paying half and my friend got in massive trouble for it. The client then calls back a few months later wanting another full session for the same half price. But my friend told her flat out she's dropping her as a client. Told me the lady then called up for weeks complaining to her manager about her. I was disgusted by that story. That was r slash choosing beggars, and this is the worst r slash puppy bloopers I've ever had. I think this is total BS. Dog. All right. I, I called you in all fairness. I guess I can't be annoyed at you if you come, can I? That's not fair to you. What do you got? No! Dog, what do you have? So, Yugo has just discovered how to open up the shoe shelf, which has our, all of our shoes because it's the only safe place, it was the only safe place, where we could keep our shoes and they wouldn't chew them up. It's also where I kept my sunglasses, my very expensive, nice pair of sunglasses, so he wouldn't chew them up. But after being a little jerk face, he figured out how to open it up. He just, yeah, you. Yeah, you. He destroyed my sunglasses. My sun. Those were so nice. Come on, man. Someone bought those for me, dog. That's just rude and inconsiderate. Those were so expensive and so nice. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you, dog. God, you're so lucky you're cute, or I would actually be really mad right now.
Tog. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. You're not even, you don't even feel bad about it. What are you, arguing with me? No, you did something wrong. Not happy. I'm not happy, dog. You're in trouble. You owe me money. You owe me money, dog. This animal. You go.